Spoons, we're finally off the mark in the Premier League too. How good does that feel? Uh, yeah, I shall have a better weekend this weekend than I have done in uh, for a few weeks. Uh, but uh, very pleased with a clean sheet. You know, it's the, I don't know, is it a perfect scoreline? I don't know, I've heard them say it, 1-0 is a perfect scoreline. I would have felt better with another one on top to make it 2-0. But uh, yeah, it was a, a step in the right direction. Um, still lots of areas for improvement there but defended uh, as a unit there and uh, you know whilst they had a, a, a lion's share of the game in the end I thought we, we looked very resolute um, the, the, the space between the, the defenders in terms of the two centre halves uh, and the ball was in wide area was a lot better than it has been um, I know we've been playing with three there and sometimes you, you leave it to one another there on the three so we, we, we blocked the gaps better there thought we sat too deep the second half. He was probably hearing us on the touchline there about squeezing up. Uh, I don't know what it is on his training pitch there. It seems to slope away a little bit there. And I know many times over the years, the other teams I've had, you know, they, they seem to drop off. Um, and that was the case and it was causing us a little bit more of a problem than we needed to. So need to be better on management there. Yeah. Goal us at half time before the winner came in the second half. But even when it was nil nil, feeling like we were moving the ball particularly well and, and trying to make things happen. Yeah, we were trying to make things happen. I think we got in some good positions in, in wide areas and delivered and that looked our best way of scoring. Um, I didn't think we looked particularly a threat in and around the box. You know, we, we got to do some work on that. Um, and at times, I thought we lacked patience in the top third. We, we played killer balls when we didn't need to. Um, but uh, you know, I don't want to be negative about it. There was lots of positives as well. But you know, you want you want to improve, so it's natural that you look at the areas that you need to improve on. Yeah. Two goals in two for Leo Dos Reis. What did you make of his performance today? I thought he led the line very, very well. Um, he's had to be very patient. You know, he's coming from Spain uh, in January, and. Um, it's been hard for him, you know, with COVID and living away from home and in digs. And he does speak English a little, um, but he's not very vociferous himself. You know, he's um, he's, he's quite a quiet lad. Um, so we need him to come out of himself a little bit. But he's 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 probably more of a an English style player than a Spanish player. Um, but he, you know, had the ball, had, sorry, held the ball up well, which we've been working on with him. And I thought he looked very composed in, in scoring his goal because he could have thrashed at that. Yeah, a couple of other lads winning their personal battles today. Marcel Oakley, who seems to improve every single week. Mm. And Tommy Fogarty slotting in at centre-back next to Mitch Roberts today. Both did extremely well, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, very good. Well, we know about Mo. You know, he's, a, he's the proverbial rash, you know. But he had his work cut out today, mm. the first couple of minutes. Uh, and I think he saw that as a good challenge. Mm. And, uh, and he stuck to his task and that, and um, he he done very well. But Tommy Fogg, yeah, you know, it's nice. Another one who's been with us years and uh, stepped up through the, wank, uh, the, the ranks uh, and, and been doing very well. And, um, you know, he's, uh, he's carried that on today. What I like about him is he's, he's very confident in his own ability in terms of giving out directions. And, uh, you know, he's not quiet. He don't go in his shell. Uh, and he, he was, uh, you know, he was quite talkative out there. Yeah, and into cup action in week, and I suppose a, another opportunity to continue building on the momentum that we've gained today. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, um, yeah. It's nice that we don't go a week without a game now. Um, you know, the boys were obviously quite buoyant after that result, um, but uh, you know, we can't hide out under the, the the rest of the stuff that wasn't good enough. We have got to work on that in a short space of time. Uh, and as you say, we're going to the cup. It's you know, it's not a straight knockout. It's a league. So we want to, to build some momentum and hopefully get a three points in your first game in there.